Hee-haw, hillbilly elegy. Yeah, still moving in. Those are my bricks for my bookmarks. Got my nice couch out here. Sun's faded it, but I don't care. Got my refrigerator out here. A couple pizzas, my stove. <laughs> Anybody that needs help moving, do not call me. Got my grass nice and manicured. Yeah, and I'll show you on the inside. Believe it or not, it takes a long time to do this shit. I can only do about four hours of a day. Organizing these books what's fucked me up. So, also, I didn't order internet. I'm trying to stay off the internet. Marty keeps saying I should get it. I probably will get it. I'm just like, I know I'll never get this done if I got internet. Got a couple screens fucked up. They're coming new. Now let me show you how far I've come. <laughs> it's working, though. I know this sounds nuts, but I brought in more books. As you can see, these shelves are slowly getting filled up with books. Slowly is the key word here. This is the guest room right here. I've got the hidden cameras installed. Big sections of religion. All of it. All this. I'm making headway, believe it or not. Now I'm going to go into this room. Oh, I'm living here now, by the way, too. No shit. First night. Well, I stayed here one night before. Two nights before. But I'm living here now. This is my bedroom. i got to put this mattress down here. And also, the contractor fucked up on these drawers. But I just I'm going to have to live with it. I think... I was talking to the guy. I went in blindly to the guy at Home Depot just to see where these motherfuckers are coming from and just asked him I said hey uh, I got French doors and I think the contractor could have done them wrong and I asked him to explain to me what he thought the general use of French doors were and I was quite surprised I can live with this shit so he said that it's for light and if you're moving stuff in and out well that's not why I got them and it bit me in the ass because the contractor was thinking what he was thinking. And that is that these doors open on the inside. Well, if I've got the headboard in the bed uh, going this way, I don't have enough room. They only open uh, 90 degrees. It just looks stupid. So I've got a nice ro hand-carved rosewood bed. Any of my faithful subscribers would like it. It's got a headboard. headboard and I can't fit it lengthwise. This way either, or the doors can't open. I got these these French doors so they could open so I could see rainstorms. Now, I c if he didn't know what I wanted, these doors would open going outside. I can live with it. Now, the downside of that is when you get storms and shit, how do you keep them from flopping around? Well, you got to go out there and do the hillbilly elegy, put a brick or something. So that isn't that great either. So what I ended up doing is, what I'm going to do is just not have a headboard, or maybe a decorative headboard on this end. And my, I'll be looking this way, with not quite centered, but a hell of a lot better than this way, of these doors being open during a rainstorm. See what I mean? Stephanie, you're not going to be getting a view, but I am. So I got these going, and... Uh, Beautiful uh, rosewood, hand-carved rose. I just don't have room. It's got big posts on the end, too, which I'm storing in the shower. And here's the end board, too, rosewood. Beautiful bed. Really, rosewood's expensive as hell. I got them in the shower. So, uh, that's that. And um, just I'm, I'm, I'm just doing nothing but sleeping. I got my stuff in the refrigerator. No internet to get me to go on, be on there for hours. And I am getting this done slowly. I was going to leave a total natural buffer. Uh, and I am going to do that. But I think and this is kind of like triangular shaped, right? And I went back and forth. I looked into growing bamboo. Out there where that horse is, that's, that's where I have power because I run around a camera or a bird water that empties itself. Today, a hot, humid day. But I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just have about a 10-foot barrier around here that I'll cut low. 
and I'm debating whether to just have a huge field of wildflowers or to plant some decorative trees. But on the other hand, I kind of like the open view because, you know, I like doing videos. I, this is southeast, so I get the moonrise and I get the sunrise. And then by like 1 o'clock, the sun is over the roof and who gives a shit? Now, I don't have any sunset tall trees in the back. So that's the deal here. I just thought I'd give you an update. I'm not going to be like, you know, uploading as much as I did because I'm out of that house 99%. And uh, Marty's wife's here, and she's a real good person. You know, they've been really good to me in putting up with my bullshit. I cleaned my room, got it out of there. It took fucking forever. If, it, if I was in their shoes, I don't know how to put up with my ass. Because for quite a while, even now, I don't get that much done. I'd say, what's this lazy son of a bitch doing down here? Why did you bring, let this guy move down here? He doesn't do shit. But they didn't. Actually, they stop over here at night and want to get me something to eat. I think, they, I think they think, and I don't know this for sure because they're not like me. I think that uh, they think if they were in my shoes, they'd be lonely. And I'm not. That's one thing I don't have. So that's one thing I got, as your Christians would say, a gift. Now the other side of that, and I was thinking about this in bed last night, is that uh, I don't, you know, I got it pretty made to tell you the truth. If my divorce settlement works out great, all it'll be is more money in the bank, which I could really give a fuck about, to tell you the truth, at this stage of the game. I'm the home free. And we've talked about depression a lot. And let me tell you, depression isn't bad if you don't have any responsibilities. Which I don't. I don't have any. So, you know, when you're depressed and you don't want to go to work and you're grouchy and you want to stay up all night and fuck around, depression's a problem. You got to get along with other people. You got to go to work. You got to cut the grass. You got to keep the place from looking like a fucking dump. Which I'm, as you can see, I'm... It's a work in process. It's not a dump. It's just a lot of shit. And uh, I don't like doing it, and God knows why else, but I'm working on it. And the point here is at this stage of my life, under these circumstances, as I tell people all the time, I have girls come out from the gas station and stuff, and they see it, and they say, oh, you got it so made. You'd love, it. love to live here. And I'll say, yeah, that's what you think. But not as a young person. Crappy school system. Nothing to do around here. i got to drive my ass off 50 fucking miles to get a decent uh, meal. Got to drive. Everywhere I've fucking lived, I had to drive 50 miles to a damn Barnes & Noble. But I was thinking about this laying in bed, and I think that uh, that's the way to do it. Because what I could have is I could be living near a Barnes & Noble, and I'd hear cars and sirens and all that bullshit, which, to be honest with you, really never bothered me. I considered West Branch, where I was living... Uh, rural, but shit, that's like New York City compared to here. So as a young person, or a, like a young woman or guy, it'd drive you fucking nuts. So now I'm just going to be able to loathe in my self-pity and get up when I want, go to bed when I want. You know, I quit drinking. I didn't think I had a problem with drinking. I mean, that's an opinion, but shit, I drank two beers, sometimes three, although they were dragon's milk, and I think it fucked up my stomach. I'm feeling a lot better, and to be honest with you, had I not started to get in shape or uh, quit drinking, I don't think I'd ever got this done. I just always kind of felt shitty. And it wasn't from being hungover. It was just giving me that gastritis, which makes you feel shitty, even if it isn't a full-blown case. So things are on the way up. You know, the trees down here are fantastic. You don't do shit to them. They just grow like hell. These beautiful clouds. So honestly, I would say right at this moment, although it doesn't sound like it, this is the best I've felt in a long time. Just about my current situation, my uh, future, and uh, I'm fully in plan to embrace not doing shit. I'm going to read these books slowly. And I've worked on my patience and temper. That's gotten a lot better. You know, now the other side of that is uh, nah, I don't get as excited or happy about shit that used to really thrill me. As you know, I don't collect anything anymore. Not a fucking thing. 
And the people out there that I told them I have things for, Reed, I got a couple eight balls. Uh, Chris, I got your VHS tapes. And triples, I have your platter. But I got in a little beef with the fucking post office. See, the way the post office runs here is this branch is kind of run by a branch from another town. So there's really not a postmaster. Well, those fuckers sent my books back about a year ago. And I lost money because once these booksellers realized that it was sent back book rate, there was no tracking number. And they said they never got them, which is a fucking lie. It's only about 110 bucks, but it was a principal thing. And I haven't found any post office anywhere that has ever done that. You can go around here and, no, we don't do that. Yeah, we probably should, but we don't. It's this bullshit fine print thing. So they piss me the hell off. And I just quit getting my quit getting my damn uh, mail. I said, fuck it. I didn't even go down there because I knew what I had to pay and online and all that shit. There goes a rare vehicle down the tree thing. So that's what happened on that. And that's why I got slo sloppy at mailing things because... They pissed me off, and I didn't want to go in there, and I didn't want to go to the other one that's ahead of them. So that's what's got me behind on this. Now, this whole driveway will be cleaned up. You know, you can see weeds and all that shit. That temporary electrical pole, I'll take that out. And uh, that's about it. That's, so I'll give you an update, but I'm just not going to be up on the cell phone signal. I get one bar. Actually, I'm not. I can't even upload this here. I gotta go over to Marty's or be someplace where I got a strong cell phone signal. I get one bar. I can't even watch any porn Pornhub. One fucking bar keeps like getting stuck. Uh, I shouldn't be. I got other things to do anyway. These bricks I'm using as my bookmarks. So uh, that's how to give you an update. Let you know how things are going. That's why. I, We'll be trailing off a little bit now. and I just turned the hot water on for today. This contractor was good, not great. There's some fucked up parts in the drywall. Painting should have been done. A couple shit he forgot. I told, the, told him I didn't want a, a dishwasher, and I got a fucking dishwasher hole. So I'm going to have to buy a fucking dishwasher, which I don't want. I got to test the water here to see, you know, just what's what. I do have a filter on it. So, you know, it sounds like a big deer running through here right now. You can hear them crunch it through things over there. A lot of birds. That orange bucket out there, and that's the horse horse watering thing. Uh, they do use it when it's cooler. You'd have to be crazy to be riding a horse in this humidity. We've had high humidity lately. Last week, high temperatures, but the humidity wasn't bad. And what else did I want to tell you? These clouds, fucking vultures flying all over. So awesome here. This is really great, man. You don't hear anything. Nothing. I'm going to be working out on this porch. I got the I got similar ceiling fans inside. Got a pizza in here. Marty's refrigerator. We got four new fridge brand new refrigerator refrigerator uh refrigerators and they're all fucked up. I'm dealing with Home Depot. It's a fucking pain in the ass. Ice in here. It's an old rusty refrigerator. But you know what? It's working. Got my OJ in there. Vulture food. I'll just be kicking it. I left one window open in the garage. I got a lot of shit in there. So I hope you guys have a good day. And you'll be kicking it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>